The topic we're talking about today is uh, the difference about making friends in Europe and making friends in America. Willkommen, bienvenue, welcome. So this video is a bit different than usually because I'm currently sitting in the Stadtpark in Vienna. And I'm here with... My name is Miranda. I'm from the United States, from California, and I've been living in Vienna since 1991. Yeah, my name is Donita. Uh, I was born in Moldova. I left it when I was 18. Before uh, coming to Vienna, I lived in many other um, countries across uh, Europe. I'm Carola. I'm German, and I moved to Paris in 2017. Making friends in Germany is really hard because, in my experience, people rarely have more than five people that they really call friends and all the rest are just acquaintances or you might be in a few friend groups and then within that friend group you have one person that you're really close with and others that are just in the pack. I moved to Frankfurt when I was already an adult and it was really hard to make friends because the people who already grew up in Frankfurt they already have their friends from kindergarten or from school or university and you really need to find other Germans who just moved there and to have like a spot open in their five uh, closest friends or uh, otherwise if someone had just a breakup or if someone had just a fight with their best friend and suddenly there's a space open and they were looking but usually um, if you come across any German person, you can just assume that they already have their friends and that, that they are not actively looking for new people to meet. And that makes it quite hard. And the way to get around that is just finding things you have in common. For example, I made friends at sport, so I did a kickboxing class. But even there, you're not automatically friends with everybody who does kickboxing. It is the people who do other things as well as kickboxing, so where you have two things in common with that are most likely to become your new friends. I found it quite hard in Frankfurt um, and coming to Paris I realized that the French actually have the same thing. They have their friend groups, uh, mostly from university, and it's really hard to find someone with an open spot who's actively looking for friends. So making friends with French people and making friends with Germans is on the same level of difficulty. So in Germany, I mean, I wasn't even a foreigner. I just happened to not be born in Frankfurt. And still, it took me almost a year before I had the first people that I would call more than acquaintances. I don't think I was born an, an extrovert. I'm probably introverted by nature, but I was. I feel like I was trained during my school time and just from society in general that being shy or not having many friends is something negative. So I am used to being friends with almost everybody. If, like when I was in school, if I came into a new class, Team spirit, class spirit was always encouraged and expected from the teachers and also working in the United States I was always friends with my colleagues or tried to at least get along with them really well. In Austria it's been a little bit different so I moved to Austria when I was 18 right out of high school and I noticed pretty soon that all of my friends were other immigrants. So it wasn't too easy to get to know Austrian friends because most of them had already their friends from, from childhood. They had very small cliques. And of course, I was getting to know people in my German class mostly, so I could relate really well to other foreigners. And that was a bit disappointing at the beginning. I agree with the first people you meet are expats and uh, it took me uh, almost three years I think before I found friends that were French people and I must say all the French people I know I met somehow via expat communities because they were um, they had been outside of France for a while and they felt more comfortable in the expat community but before being an expat or before being a foreigner in a country I completely underestimated the expert community and how 
how close you can feel to someone just because you're both foreign in a country. Later when I started a family and I started to get to know the parents of my, chil my children's friends, I also started getting to know people a little bit more closely, calling them friends. Yeah, I know some people are surprised at how many friends Americans have like it seems like everyone they everyone you talk about is a friend like my friend did this my friend did that or my friend at work could be a little bit strange to maybe German speakers or French speakers I don't know but it could also be um, a language thing like the word acquaintance sounds very removed and a bit sterile so if I referred to Doinita here <laughs> as an acquaintance I mean I think I would almost think that was rude because it's just such a, yeah, such a, it's such an unfriendly word. So I tend to consider people my friend quite easily, even if I don't know them too well. I don't know, I, quite, I don't know, someone that you met a few times, but you're not, not so close to you, cannot open your heart. For example, if you have a problem, I think I, you can, you can, you can confess to me. Or if I have problems, I actually confess to you a lot. Maybe <laughs> I really take you as, as, as a close friend. And um, yeah, I, I, I really appreciate uh, <laughs> our friendship, <laughs> our new friendship. <laughs> That we just that we just uh, recognized. Yeah, I'm an expat and I was an expat since 18 when I left my country. So unfortunately, I'm not in contact with my friends like those good good friends, uh, friends that I met at kindergarten or friends that I um, that I really built through uh, friendships in my in my uh, childhood. I'm not uh, in, in contact with them anymore, but I do think about them very often. Uh, so it's, it's for sure it's difficult to make friends being an expat. And normally my focus um, as an expat is, you know, to, to build my career, to, to study, to, um, to learn, to, to develop myself. So I didn't put a, a, a much accent and uh, focus on that. Um, Although I, I recognize that it's, it's really difficult to find people that you can count on, it's, 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 it takes time and um, I have a good friend that I met in France when we were students. Uh, she currently lives in Dubai, so uh, I hope she will see this video <laughs> and be super happy that we can meet. So I really, I'm really, I'm really happy with these friendships because I can ask, I can count on her, I can ask uh, her advice, I can open my heart. So I have my, let's say, my 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 dose or my 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 need of, of friendship somehow somehow met. But here in Vienna, uh, after three years, Miranda is a friend of mine, <laughs> is my teacher and is a friend of mine. But like, I don't know. Friends that I that I can I, maybe because this is the way I I used to 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 to, to be where I used to live my life I, I can count only on myself uh, so I I know a lot of people a lot of people can find me super um, super open and easygoing and I can I, I think I can establish uh, let's say friendships or I don't know relationships super easy but in in the end I know that I, I when I'm going home or when I have uh, and then I know that I have my life, I have my struggles, I have my problems, and only me <laughs> to, to count on. So I, I'm, uh, I'm confident that I'm sure that uh, the, um, my decision to leave my home country is a good one. Even though I'm alone, I feel a bit, uh, um, yeah, I have all these um, the aspects, or how to say it, of, of being an expat, yeah, the, the, the disadvantages and the, the, the hardship linked to, to being an expat, but I think I took a good decision and I'm, I'm, I think I'm a happy person, mm. <laughs> being alone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I, have a, I have a friend already yeah. <laughs> that I know. But I, agree with I think, I mean, I had a lot of friends in the United States when I left and a lot of people found that a bit strange that I would leave all my friends, but I think that's a really good point that if you are happy alone, then it's okay. Like, it's okay because more friends will come up if need be, but even if not, if you can be alone, if you can be quiet and be by yourself and not have a problem with that, I think that's almost a better skill than making friends because then you don't need people around constantly. I mean, eventually people will come in and out of your life, but I think being alone is something that a lot of maybe Americans, it could have changed since I was living there, but um, 
I think that could be a skill that could be trained in people, like by society, not just being friends with everybody and having a, you know, a friendship with everybody, but also not just just be be able to be alone, be able to travel by yourself or be alone for a whole day, sleep somewhere alone. I think that's also something that I value and helped me a lot at the beginning when it was hard to make friends. I agree. First in France I brought my German way of thinking. I feel a lot of people that I consider acquaintances might consider me a friend, but I have a lot of people where if I want to do something and I know that they would have fun doing that as well, I can invite them. But because we wouldn't ever do anything else together, then um, I don't think the friendship has reached the level where I would call them true friends, just acquaintances or just maybe knitting friends or um, comedy friends or depending on what we're doing together. Uh, let's talk a little bit uh, maybe about how we met. Um, okay. yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we met on a Facebook group uh, and uh, it's, so it's a Facebook group supporting where YouTubers, was it women? I think uh, it was, YouTubers? I don't know if it was an only women one, probably, probably. Yeah, I think yeah. it was the only women mm -hmm. one. Um, so and you suggested doing a collaboration, right? Wasn't it your uh, exactly. post? Exactly. Uh, no, it wasn't my post, post, but someone posted, mm -hmm. hey, uh, if you want collabs, then mm -hmm. uh, yeah, post that. And so I said, I'm in Paris, mm -hmm. and I had expected other people from Paris to, to get in touch, but yeah, no. no. So and I'm, I just, I'm an expat, but I mean, I'm an immigrant. I yeah. identify as an immigrant. Yes, but, um, me too. My channel is not about being that, but my channel is a, an English learning channel, but I thought, yeah, it can expand a little bit and we'd find something in common. Because I also wanted to do a collab, but I didn't want to do it online. Like, I didn't want to do the, the Zoom call yeah. thing. I just, I don't know, I like it in person. Exactly. So, and this is so much better, yeah. like flying to Vienna. Yeah. And I looked at your channel and you're, you look trustworthy, so I wasn't <laughs> scared of anything. Yeah. And yeah, so it worked well, out really Well, thank you fine. for letting me sleep in your guest home. It's fine. It was a pleasure. <laughs> Thanks for being spontaneous. We need yeah. more of that. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I think we're, we're both very open per uh, people. So. Mm -hmm. um, it really worked just from writing because uh, mm -hmm. sometimes you plan a collab and then you already know during the text, oh no, no, this is not going to work out. Mm -hmm. Let's just cancel that. That's, oh really? Not I never, I've never done one before. Oh okay. I would okay. love, yeah, I would love to do a collab with someone in Vienna. But like I, I found one Facebook group that was um, YouTube. Austrian YouTubers. I think it was called Austrian YouTubers. There was nothing going on in that group, like nothing, and it wasn't really, there were a couple active people, but they weren't even in Vienna, so maybe I shouldn't talk about that group, but um, no, yeah, that was, that was, I don't know why there aren't, there, maybe there aren't so many in Vienna. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But it has to be the right chemistry, it has to be the right topics and yeah. similar channels maybe. Or different channels, I mean, yeah, it could be. Yeah, it, it just has to work for the audience, mm -hmm. so an audience learning English is mm -hmm. uh, possibly an audience who also likes to learn about Paris. Yeah, exactly, yeah. No, it's worked out really well. Yeah, it did. You have to come back, or I, I have will. to go. Yeah, you'll Paris. have to come to Paris, but I don't have a guest room. I'm currently <laughs> okay. living in a studio. I don't expect you to put me up. It's okay. <laughs> That's another way of meeting, making friends, just by finding a hobby that you have in common and then just working on a project together. And I did make some YouTube friends, actually one of my very closest friends in Paris. Um, I met her because I was looking for people to collab with and she, ha she didn't have YouTube at that time, but she had Instagram at that time. And so we filmed one video and we kept on meeting and she was such a lovely person and now she's one of my closest friends and uh, yeah, hi Maya. <laughs> I hope you liked the video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below and hop over to Miranda and the club we did. See you next time.